Hello and welcome to Shredder Zoo. I haven't said that for a long time, uh, but I thought we'd go back to the zoo. You can see I'm wearing this amazing hat, the Dialer Skin hat. So I've uh, released some new content. I know there's a lot of people who are a bit disappointed with it, myself included. We were hoping for new dinosaurs, but we've got skins instead. Uh, but I just thought I could actually take the opportunity to come back to Shredder Zoo for an episode. I know this would normally be the aquarium uh, day, but I thought we, we would take a break from that because, well, uh, I've had troubles, but we don't need to get into that right now but a lot of you probably haven't seen some of the zoo because i've got you know, a lot of first subscribers since uh i built the zoo this is shredder zoo this is a big series that i did before the aquarium um so this i thought we'd take an opportunity to have a look at some of the new skins now over here we've got a petting zoo now this is where i've had the uh, pachycephalosaurs but now of course we have the uh stick block i'm not sure how you pronounce that probably need to um I should look into that before I say it too many more times. Let's get rid of the uh, overlay here. So this is obviously the the original Pachycephalosaurus, and then we have the the new one here. So yeah, let's have a look at the um, the skin. It's a little bit in shade. Let's, let's have a look at one in, in the shadow. So it looks like I've got uh, what about three of them in here. So it looks like they're all going to be the same colours, but um, so the skin the skin costume is just the one colour. It doesn't matter what colour the the original dino is. Um, I'm guessing you could probably paint it or something like that, but uh, yeah, it looks pretty awesome. A uh, really, really nice, the extra kind of spikes and things. So yes, yeah, uh, Stigimolog, that's how you pronounce this one. Um, now, the interesting thing about this one is that it's actually a dubious genus, uh, that, which means that paleontologists don't think it's an actual um, separate genus. They think it's that most of the um, uh, fossils of the Stigimolic are actually uh, juvenile Pachycephalosaurus. So they are basically exactly the same species as these guys, just a younger version. Now I think, uh, if I remember rightly, there's something about them having a slightly flatter head. I'm not sure whether it's kind of shown up on the um, on this particular model that's been made. You can see he's still got a kind of a domed head, pretty much the same as the Pachycephalosaurus. But uh, when they were younger, they had flatter heads. And as they got older, they got more domed. Um, so that's that's kind of one of the reasons. I think that eventually these would probably be just renamed Pachycephalosaurus and they'd be exact, uh, considered to be exactly the same species as this one. So that's quite an interesting fact, actually. But I'm not too sure about the, the spikes. The, these guys kind of have a lot larger kind of head spikes. I, I probably need to look into that and see exactly why... Why have these got big old spikes? Presumably they wouldn't lose them as they got older and, and got smaller like this. So obviously there's something not quite uh, authentic with these skins and you are just knocking me with your tail constantly. That's really irritating. Um, but yeah, so these guys should have probably had a slightly flatter head um, and maybe be, I, I guess, smaller, I suppose, because they're, they're juvenile. Interestingly, um, the Draco Rex, which you can see in uh, Jurassic World Extinction um, Evolution, sorry, um, games, um, is considered to be an even younger version of these guys. So that's not uh, its own species either, which I'll probably cover again once we uh, unlock them in the Jurassic World games, if you uh, want to follow on with that, that series as well. Uh, yeah, so that's those guys. I think it looks pretty awesome. I really like them. Um, this does actually get me quite excited for the second series of Shredder Zoo because there will be another one once I finish the aquarium. We're going to uh, probably wipe this server completely and start again from scratch. Uh, if you, oh my god, we have a rogue Carno <laughs> going about. He looks pretty stuck. Can we let's have a look? Let's just disable your wandering. I, I put a lot of these dinos on Wanda when I did the last tour. If you want to see a tour of this place, if you haven't seen this place, I do have, um, I did a live stream of a, a, like a final tour. Why are you still trying to wander? Stop. There we go. Um, and um, yeah, so I'll, I'll see if I can leave a link to that video uh, in the description of this one, maybe a card as well, if I remember. Uh, so you can check out this place as well if you haven't seen it before. But yeah, but that's uh, that's these guys. So the um, uh, Stigimolok and the Pachycephalosaurus compared. So anyway, let's move on to the uh, Styracosaurus. Uh, we have the, where if I can find it, it's been a while since I've been here actually. Where did I put my trikes? They should be here. Here we go. This is a, a trike. Here we go. And perfect. Here we go. So here is the Styracosaurus. And it looks like the textures aren't quite loaded in for me. I'm not sure whether that's the case of the skin or whether it's just because sometimes that does happen in this place because there is a lot going on in this place. My computer doesn't always like it <laughs> around here. Uh, but yeah, okay, so the difference is obviously we have one massive horn here and uh, some big old uh, horns on the top here, so we've got a lot less. Now, I always thought it was interesting because we all know that the trike here in Ark isn't a proper Triceratops. It is a crossbreed. If you read the dossier, it says it's a crossbreed between the Triceratops and the Styracosaurus anyway. So it's not, you know, the, the Triceratops wouldn't have these uh, spikes around on its frill, I don't think. It's been a while since I checked out the um, 
the, the trike. I do have uh, educational videos about all these dinos here as well. So if you're interested, check those videos out as well. I'll give, go into more detail about the trike, uh, sorry, the Triceratops and the Styracosaurus in that one. I'll see if I can uh, leave a card to that one here as well, so you can sort of check that out. But yeah, so um, I really like this one. I think, love the coloring is amazing. The kind of the patterns we have got on there. Um, I really would like to see whether that would have different colors whether you could change those colors or whatever um but yeah but it looks amazing with this massive great big horn so it only has like the one horn where the triceratops obviously has the three uh but yeah so that's the styracosaurus that's really interesting but yeah so because it'd be, it'd be great then if they if since they've got the styracosaurus in here maybe they could change the trike i mean they've done a they did do a tlc on the trike so they're not going to change it now but maybe they should make it a proper triceratops uh, I know Ark, the Ark devs, they, they, they like spikes on the dinos. A lot of the dinos here in Ark have a lot more horns and spikes and things than they should do. Um, so they do, they do like, uh, they do like their horns and spikes, but maybe they could take out some of those and make this to look more like a triceratops should look. Um, and then, so we've got the Styracosaurus with the, with the big old horns on its frill, uh, how it should be. But that is brilliant. I love, I love the shape of that. Um, yeah, so I think, Size-wise, they're pretty much the same. Oh, they've got oh, they've got some little spines on the back as well. Uh, yes, yeah, so a slightly different shape on the frill. Actually, I do have a saddle. I wonder. Let's have a quick look. Oh no, saddles here. Let's put a saddle on. Let's see, if we've got the costume there. So if I ride this, that's pretty cool. If I jump up there, I get completely covered by this uh, frill. I wonder if that provides more protection, more coverage than uh, than it would on the trike if you're uh, in a battle, someone's shooting at you. I'm not too sure. But there we go, that's that. Right, so we have uh, another one. We have one more skin, which I guess we'll go in there and check out. Oh, let me see if I can fly. Those guys are a little bit in shade dash. But actually, too, before we go, let's see if I can just bring these guys out into the sun a little bit. Bring them a little bit further forward so we can actually have a look at their colours a bit better. They're going to get a little bit close now, but... There we go. Okay, so that's a bit better. Yeah, it's a bit of a shame that there seems to be slightly low res textures on this one. I'm pretty sure that's probably just my computer, um, or yeah, or the server, or whatever. It's not going to be a case of um, it's a low res skin. It doesn't that doesn't seem to make any sense. But you can see there's a lot more detail in the in the trike there than there is in the Styracosaurus. It's sort of a bit of a detail. But I'm, I'm pretty sure that's probably my computer and not uh, not the skin itself. But uh, I don't know. Let me know what you think. Right, so we have another one. Let's zoom over this way. You can see here, especially if this is the first time you've seen the zoo. It's definitely um, one to check out. There's a whole series, um, massive series I did last year on this, these guys. But anyway, we have the Brachiosaurus now. So we'll go over to my sauropod paddock. Let's see if I can just get this loaded up. If I crash into it, that should load it up properly. Go on, load up. Here we go. That looks better. But it'll look better when we have all the structures loaded. And you can see there are so many buildings around here. It does take a long time for it to kind of render in. Um, that's kind of a slight problem, but it's fine we'll, we'll get this done and over here as well come on let's just get oil loaded in then we can have a look at the the brachiosaurus okay there we go let's get the oh god there's a wall over here let's get all this stuff done because this looks good when we got it all loaded in here we go perfect okay so i've got a couple of them together oh come on here it is the brachiosaurus i think this one looks great uh, i mean it's, it's not a huge amount of difference from the the brontosaurus but you can see there's definitely some let's move back a bit there's definitely some differences here you can see by the slope of the body, the body there sort of kind of goes um, down. The, the, the brontosaurus has a more humped back there, a bit more rounded. And uh, the posture looks a little bit different. You know, it's a little, maybe a little bit more upright because it maybe has slightly longer front legs. You can kind of see there. Um, and a much shorter tail as well, which is very interesting. You can see that's quite, it looks pretty stubby compared to um, the brontosaurus. The brontosaurus has uh, a huge long tail, which really gets in the way. That's actually an interesting, does this tail still get in the way if we try to go behind it a little bit a little bit it's not too not too bad though it's probably not too far out but there we go so well uh, what other differences we have the brontosaurus has kind of uh, some spines on its uh, neck there and and uh, run along on its back which the brachiosaurus doesn't have you can see there uh, we also have this kind of um, these kind of uh, armored kind of scoots a bit like the uh, the titanosaurus um, on the, the hindquarters there and some slight spines on the tail uh, which the Brontosaurus doesn't have it has these it has the spikes down the, down the back and of course obviously probably the first thing I should have mentioned is the uh, the, the nostrils on top of the head 
um, and the hump on the head. But so yeah, but overall, that's a really nice change, really nice addition. And it does mean that here and at uh, the zoo, we've got much more, uh, a bigger variety of dinos. And to say, it does give me um, some excitement for to, to when I start doing a uh, Shredder Zoo Series 2, um, because then we can uh, build more enclosures and have more variety of dinos. Uh, you know, I can use the skins and uh, make it look like we've got more stuff in it, which I'm really excited about. But there we go, that's uh, pretty much all we have to show for the dinosaurs it was just those uh, those three there are of course we have um the uh dilo mask uh which are wearing which i think is pretty awesome actually there was also another one which was the uh primitive oh well, not primitive the corrupted hat which is a, an interesting one let's, have a, let's see if i can have a closer look at that zoom in on my head if we can let me just look up a little bit there we go so that's uh interesting to say the least it obviously gets rid of the hair. I wish they could uh, somehow incorporate your hairstyle into the into the hat skins, so that you can still have your original hair while still wearing the the hats. That would be really cool. But that's a looks mildly uncomfortable, I have to say. <laughs> but it's kind of a yeah. I, I'm not I don't not a huge fan of that one. That looks okay, I guess. But uh, I, quite, I do quite like this one. I don't normally wear hats because I usually like to um, show off my lovely dreadlocks. But we'll we'll put the hat on the dialogue skin. Looks pretty awesome. Talking of dilos, if you're familiar with this series, if you did watch this series, um, this, the zoo's a little bit of a mess at the moment because some of the dinos did escape when I was doing my final tour. I put a lot of things on Wonder and, and a lot of them, well, some of them did escape. Um, you can see that it doesn't, doesn't render in at all. You have to kind of hang around for a bit. So we've got a couple of escapees here. We've got... Um, we have who we've got here, Mika. I think it is. We've got Mika, and we've got uh, Ghost, who is uh, escaped from that normal paddocks. But I did have a complete disaster in the Dilo paddock. I just I don't, I don't know if I mentioned this before. Where is it? Oh my God, this friends again. I can't even find my way around because things aren't rendering. Here we go. So I did have a disaster, and um, because I'd left them on wandering for months, uh, we have we had some mutations come out, and we've got some. Um, I've turned them all off now, but. Some of the original dilos did die, and uh, but we have some lovely blue ones here. But anyway, I just thought I'd show you that one because that's very interesting. Uh, but yeah, so that, this is the zoo. You can't really see it very well because it doesn't render in. Um, it would look good. I do promise you that. So there's definitely videos of a tour of the space if you haven't seen it before. And um, so the links to some educational videos about the uh, trike and the Styracosaurus. And also I've got the uh, Pachycephalosaurus and um, the, uh, the sauropods as well. They're all, all on the channel if you want to check those out. Let me just go back to let's go back to my trikes and my Styracosaurus. I think that's probably my favourite. I uh, just it looks so good. The the colouring is is brilliant. I wonder it'd be so good if you could get different colours on that. Let's get you moved out of the way a little bit. Get you to there. And there we go. We can see those two side by side. It is lovely, brilliant. Okay, so uh, yeah, a little bit shorter video, and I do apologise about the lack of the aquarium video this week. I just this is the first time I've managed to get onto the server um, since the update. I had real trouble getting the server started and you know, restarted and I couldn't join for a long time. And uh, I just I just don't have time to build a huge, massive aquarium enclosure and get a video out this weekend. I just can't do it. I just physically do not have the time to get it all done. So I really do apologise if you're looking forward to an aquarium video this week. Uh, but keep tuned to the channel. Maybe, I don't know, let me know if you want to see one midweek. I might be able to get one out. Can't promise anything there because they do take such a long time to make. But if not, we'll just come back uh, next Saturday and we'll do a, a proper aquarium uh, next Saturday. Um, so we'll get uh, we'll get a new enclosure built. And we're getting close towards the end. We haven't got that many more of the aquarium to do. We've got maybe four four more enclosures to do. So I've got uh, yeah, a few enclosures. I've got a big, you know, a big one planned for some point in the future, which may take more than one episode. And then, of course, we've got like the final sort of gift shop episode and things. So there's still a few more weeks for, to go on that one. But once that is done, I'm thinking about maybe taking a couple of weeks break and then starting on a brand new series of Shredder's uh, Zoo Series Two, where we will start from scratch and building the big one, where everything, every single dino in Ark is going to be in there, included in that one. So uh, make sure you subscribe uh, if you want to see that one coming up in the future in a few weeks time well it'll be several weeks, a couple of months time probably um we're starting on that one so anyway uh yeah let me know what your favorite uh, skin is um in the for the, the new ones uh mine's probably the Psychosaurus, although the um the stigmolock is is really nice as well uh but yeah so they're really nice skins it's disappointing that we didn't get new creatures but the skins do look fantastic and uh, you can have fun with them anyway 
So, okay, thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think down in the comment section. Make sure you like and subscribe if you want to see more of the zoo. And uh, I will see you then. Goodbye.